Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about one of my favourite places to stay. I absolutely love it here. The cat loves it here. Okay, so you can probably hear the boats in the background. You do get a few boats, especially weekends and holidays and things like that. But I'm parked up at one of my favourite places. I've been coming here for just over a year, I think. I do need to leave soon because I've got some things to do further down the line. But I did want to show you a little bit about this place because I, I just really love it. I'm, I'm a country bumpkin. I love rural. Have a look at that. Lots of um, nature. I am parked a little way away from people because I like to record video and do things like that. So it's um, handy to have a bit of quiet. But I absolutely love it here and it feels so safe. You know, there's a gate, the people who own it are great, the people you meet here are great. <laughs> it's just, to me, it's somewhere where I can relax and regroup before I carry on with my journey, and I really appreciate that fact. So one thing I wanted to say is that it's a park over property, so you do need to ring before you come here, and you do need to be self-contained. Ellen, the guy who owns it, and his partner, Joanne, they're great. So just give them a ring. The phone number's in the NZMCA app, and it's also on the gate. So give them a buzz. <laughs> but you do need to be self-contained so that you can get rid of all your waste. Um, so this is a little bit of the, the lake, Lake Karapiro, which I love. I've loved Karapiro for years. I used to actually stay way down there there's a reserve called little waipa which is free um, but i can't get reception there with vodafone i think you can get a little bit of um, telecom there but certainly not vodafone but it is a beautiful lake and you see rowers going past and water skiers and there were a whole lot of swans here like lots and lots and lots but they seem to have wandered off somewhere else <laughs> I just wanted to share this with all of you because it really is somewhere that I look at as kind of sanctuary. Um, I was a little bit stressed recently because my cat wasn't very well and I just felt we didn't need to be racing around the countryside like mad. So it was really nice to have somewhere to come and stay put for a little while and let her get her bearings again and get well again and yeah I think next week I'm heading south a little bit so I'll make a video about that journey too but yeah the last two weeks I've just stayed put because Miss Pussycat needed needed to get well so that we could travel on <laughs> I just get a bit stressed when she's not well um, she's getting older so I do worry about her, so, but she's all back to full throttle now, feeling healthy, feeling fit, doing well, so that is really awesome. But yeah, I plan to document my next little trip, which I'll go on during the week sometime. I'll take on a bit less work one day and work in the morning and then travel in the afternoon. I always have to juggle those things if I want to travel during the week. So yeah, but let me know what you think of it, what sort of places you really enjoy, um, what makes a place wonderful for you. For me, it's actually the biggest key to me is having it fairly quiet. I like quiet, I like to sleep somewhere where it's fairly quiet. And also when I'm working or making videos, because I make videos for my work channel too, which are sit down videos I do inside. Um, having too much noise is just difficult. And actually just peace of mind, you know, it's got a gate here, I like that. I didn't used to, but after many years the advantage of having a gate that keeps hoons and silly people out is actually pretty awesome. So, yeah, this is one of my lov lovely little hidey holes somewhere. Mm, I look at it as sanctuary, it's beautiful.
so yeah, there's my wee park up spot. I spent this morning cleaning my windows from the outside <laughs> because they were just filthy. They just get really dirty. I just wanted to share this with all of you because it really is somewhere that I look at as kind of sanctuary. Um, I was a little bit stressed recently because my cat wasn't very well and I just felt we didn't need to be racing around the countryside like mad. So it was really nice to have somewhere to come and stay put for a little while and let her get her bearings again and get well again. And yeah, I think next week I'm heading south a little bit. So I'll make a video about that journey too. Yeah. But, but let me know what you think of it, what sort of places you really enjoy. Um, what makes a place wonderful for you? For me, it's actually the biggest key to me is having it fairly quiet. I like quiet, I like to sleep somewhere where it's fairly quiet. And also when I'm working or making videos, because I make videos for my work channel too, which are sit down videos I do inside. Um, having too much noise is just difficult and actually just peace of mind, you know. It's got a gate here, I like that. It didn't used to, but after many years, the advantage of having a gate that keeps hoons and silly people out is actually pretty awesome. So, yeah. This is one of my lov lovely little hidey holes somewhere. Mm, I look at it as sanctuary. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's it from me for now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, that'd be great. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Keep an eye out for my video next week. That's going to be quite interesting. And lots of love to you all. Safe travels. Keep safe. Take care. Be happy. See you next time.